Speaking of that, you went berserk on Dwayne Wade and uh, and his wife. Yeah, right. They took a family picture. Yeah, they yeah, took a yeah. family picture together. And uh, the son, he was uh, hugging his boyfriend, which was a, a white kid. Little white, yeah, little white girl. And, uh, you know, you said They what are you not said. transsexuals. Them kids are not transsexuals. Those kids are, and I, I want to say this where you can get your monetization. Uh, those kids are dealing with two, I, Dwayne Wade boy, I don't know nobody about that white boy, that white girl. Dwayne Wade boy is dealing with two demented adults who are trying to live vicariously through that kid. Now that little boy really like white girls. Little boy really like the little white girl. The little white girl really wants some of that little black boy's dick. But because they parents fucked up, they got the boy, they got him switching. I saw a video of Dwayne Wade saying, oh yeah, they, everybody asked me about Zeta and I tell them that it was normal. When I was a little boy, I used to wear my mother's shoes and my sister clothes. You a lying motherfucker. That ain't normal, nigga. That's the that's the mentally ill shit, nigga. My mama catch me walking in a hill, you'll get your ass whooped. Boy, if you don't get out my goddamn shoe, boys don't wear that. Nigga, we didn't want to play in mama's shoes. Now, we went in there and got my cousin Tasha dolls so we can look at Barbie pussy. <laughs> we used to get Ken and get Barbie and try to make them fuck, raise up Barbie dress, and see, these two motherfuckers got the same thing. Look at your dick. Something ain't right. We knew that a little bitty boy. So, nigga, we put them dolls down and start hunching little girls around the motherfucking play. But no, nigga, we ain't as boy. We didn't have no desire, nigga. We were kicking and breaking things, doing black back flips in the bed. Uh, yeah, no, nah, he lying. So what I see, and I hate to be harsh, well, no, I don't. Yeah, I have every intention on being harsh. Yeah, but listen, what I see here is like if I want my son to play football, I played football, I went to college, but I didn't make it. Most of the time, those fathers live through their son. They had every goddamn game. Go, boy! They be down on the field trying to coach. They get in the way of the boy trying to make it. The Laval, them, them, them ball boy like parents, live through the boy. Put the pressure on the boy to be successful. To me, that looked like what Dwayne Wade is doing through his son. He really want to be g He really want what the boy want. Yeah, he really want to in his ass. He don't want a finger. He don't want a deal, though. That boy want that with that vein in it in him. And so he done convinced this little boy to get him some. Yeah, get you, get you something like get your daddy wanted. Daddy couldn't do it, but you can do it. You can be free to do it. I wasn't free to do it, son. I had to play basketball, but I really wanted to be a punk. So it's funny because my, my bad, not to cut you off, but it's funny because I remember when D Wade and Chris Bosh used to play together. People used to think Chris Bosh was the one. I don't know if you remember that, but people used to make fun of Chris Bosh all the time on the internet, and now it's 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 reversed. Oh, Chris Bosh is I, I seen that. I seen that nigga with some golden fingernail polish. I seen him with some leotard. I don't know what that was. But the fucked up part about it is the little boy was all right when he was over there with his mama. That little boy was a boy with his mama. Now here come his rich basketball playing daddy. Come take the kids from the mama. Get with a woman who can't have babies. Not only can she can't have babies, she done been brutally raped before. So there's a darkness to the elements of who she is. I'm playing basketball. My sick girlfriend go get a nanny, a nanny, to groom and watch my boys. 
Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, what's in you is in you. You see it's in his daddy. So it's going to be in him. It's in the bloodline. And you got a woman who is in agreement with it. She's so much in agreement with it, she went on a public platform and told people she playing your ass. She went on that sway and said, oh, yeah, they just say they don't like it. So one guy said, no, I don't think guys like that. And she said, huh, no, that's just what they say. No, bitch, mm. that ain't what they say. No, that's no. Who like a wet ass? You, you, you. Who like a wet ass? What position can a man get in in a masculine position to get his ass played in? Whether it's eight, tickled, or blowed in. What position do you take? You lay on your belly and put your legs up in there like Punky Brewster, or you <laughs> lay on your back and gap your legs up like she do. You lay back and she push your, both your legs back, push your heels together like your mama used to do when she used to wipe your ass and change your diaper. What manly position do you get in to enjoy your ass getting played in? Not only that, who whispered in your ear and told you that was gonna feel good? Who convinced them niggas, hey man, you know if I play on your ass, it's gonna feel good if I lick it? Who convinced these niggas of that? So when I heard her say that, I say, man, this is the black woman's way of emasculating not only this man, but destroying his seed and his legacy. Can you imagine? Let me, let me just say this before you say something, because I want to get this out. Can you imagine what the mother and her side of the family is saying? They may not have the means and the financial means to go back and get her. Now Hollywood got my baby. And look what done happened. When did black people start allowing our 11, 10, 12-year-old children to bring their lover into the family picture and they kiss? We don't even let the heterosexual kids do that. How the f I don't I mean, you get your monetization, but they know what I mean. 